Hi there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and in today's video I'm working in my little sketchbook. Um, this is a little square sketchbook from Arteza. I'm not necessarily in love with the quality of the paper because sometimes um, the paint dries on it very blotchy. Other pages are fine but I do like the square format and um, yeah I like working in here. And today I'm going to be working on a little landscape or garden scene, I guess. It looks a bit like maybe a botanical garden um, with a little bridge over a pond. And I just thought this, this was a really cute scene. There's a lot of purple and pink going on in here. And yeah, it just looked really nice. And I'm using my acrylic wash to do this drawing. I'm using a set of primary colors because um, yeah, that's just what I bought <laughs> when I was buying these paints and um, it's a good experience really to work with primary colors because you have to do a lot of mixing which is a great practice and it also means that the piece will look very uh, consistent and coherent, the, the colors will just harmonize together and um, yeah I'm usually very happy with the way these pieces turn out using these primary colors. As you can see I started by painting in a very light yellow background uh, to symbolize the sun coming through the trees and um, it's very light and muted as well though because it's further away it's further in the distance and you can see the the plants surrounding it surrounding the, the background the yellow bit uh, are very light as well they're very uh, light grayish uh, blue color those leaves and you see some tree, uh, tree trunks as well and they're very light as well because this is all further in the distance and whatever is further away will look a lot paler and usually there'll be a lot more cool colors and the further you come to the foreground the more intense the colors become and a lot of the times also a lot warmer. So um, I've also added in some bit of detail on the bridge and um, a little bit of reflection on the water. I've painted in a, a little rock and I'm actually mixing my grey by just basically mixing all of these colours together, adding maybe a little bit of white and possibly even a bit of black, but I don't necessarily need the black really at all. It's just to make life easier. So you can get um, a dark colour that way or a very neutral colour in any case. And now I am painting in some foliage. Um, there's a lot of pink plants in this painting and it just looks really cute. And I'm, I'm using my magenta color, adding a little bit of blue and as needed a little bit of white for the more pinky areas and well, no white for the areas that are a bit more color intensive. Yeah, so it's a mixture between pink and purple and magenta in this tree on the left hand side. And I'm just using little dabbing motions to, to do the leaves, basically. I'm nothing special, just little dots of paint. So I'm mixing a green to add in little areas that are a bit more greenish. And some more detail in the background. So if you don't know um, what acrylic gouache is, it's basically a crossover between acrylic paint and gouache. I believe uh, in its nature it's actually closer to acrylic paint but you use it more like you would use gouache normally speaking on paper or in a sketchbook and um, it's a, a water soluble paint as long as it's wet and um, yeah what did I want to say as long as it's wet it's water soluble as soon as it dries though it's permanent so you can't re-wet it on the paper and that means you can do a lot of layering like you would with acrylic paint, which is nice. You don't have to worry about the layers underneath being um, being lifted or colors kind of mixing into each other where you don't want that to happen. The disadvantage, of course, is that it dries quicker. I mean, it dries as quick probably as wash would, but you can't re-wet it, meaning a blending might be a bit of an issue. You have to be fast as you would with acrylic paint. And also it dries on your palette, when it dries on your palette and it does that very quickly, you can't re-wet it. So you have to kind of discard those areas of the paint that have dried. If you try and re-wet it, you just end up with it. It's a rubbery mess on your palette so don't even try doing that. 
um, which that well that can be a bit frustrating and it's a pity to throw away paint um, if you don't use it up quickly enough but I do really enjoy using this medium because I used to paint a lot with acrylic paint and um, don't so much anymore because it seems like such a hassle to get all the supplies out and your canvas and doing all the cleanup and this seems more approachable more like gouache painting you just have your small little tubes you squeeze them out you paint in a little format on your sketchbook um yeah i don't know it's just enjoyable and yeah of course it dries very matte as a gouache paint would which is the most um the largest similarity to gouache paint i guess and also the consistency isn't exactly like acrylic paint it seems more flowy more like possibly gouache paint would be in any case yeah it's a lot of fun to work with <laughs> um, yeah you can see i'm also painting in some darker areas and uh, that's really nice to have a bit of contrast there the three, uh, three on the right hand side is closer to the foreground so it would be darker and um, yeah, I've used some, some black, some yellow, and uh, just a mix of the colors that I have for that. And I'm working around the bridge here. I guess I could have also added the bridge on top of the background after I'd finished painting it. That might have been a bit easier, but then I would have uh, covered the, um, the initial sketch and um, yeah that would have made it harder again so <laughs> that's the way I did it. Um, I'm painting in some some long grass now. It's also pinkish purpley color with some dark areas in it for contrast where the shadow is. And in between you see some specks of, of green and yellow but throughout you have a very similar color scheme which is nice it's a, i've probably said this before but it's a cute little scene with um, any kind of gouache painting of course you're using usually a lot of white paint and it's no different here and i've uh, gone through my first tube of white um, acrylic gouache very quickly and um, on my second one <laughs> i ordered an entire new set for that because it was difficult to get a hold of a single tube. I believe these paints came from Japan. I actually had to wait quite a while for them to arrive, arrive each time I ordered them. Um, I guess I, well, I did try using actual acrylic paint, but the consistency wasn't the same and it was not as enjoyable to use it. So that's what I did. I'm painting in some more detail in the foreground or then nearly the foreground there's a little island of grass there on the left hand side and I'm painting in those large leaves of grass and darker on the bottom and on the top there's more white for highlights painting in some more, more reflection on the water now the water will normally speaking reflect what's around it so I'm just kind of using the same colors as I did in the scene just with a little bit more blue possibly and um, it's a bit more washed out obviously <laughs> because it's water um, I don't have the exact details as the plants around it Some more contrast to the bridge and some more detail there to the steps and just refi refining everything a little bit but already I think it looks nearly finished and I think it turned out cute it's a nice little sketchbook page and I enjoyed painting landscapes it's very soothing and nothing has to look exact as maybe a portrait would have to or even an animal it's just a very meditated oh god that's not the right word um, a very relaxing thing <laughs> to do and I really recommend it um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel for more similar videos and uh, some tutorials. 
Uh, yeah, um, I work in a lot of different mediums, if you didn't already know. So there's acrylic paint, there's colored pencil, there's mostly, well, there's a lot of watercolor painting. There's gouache painting and acrylic gouache and um, maybe even some oil painting now and then. So <laughs> yeah, I hope you join me again. And um, yeah, I hope to see you again soon in one of my next videos. So take care and bye bye.